Welcome to a community for your changing lifestyle. I'm Mike Ahern, and we are here at Rosegate, one of 87 American senior communities across Indiana. We've come to the Southside location to meet some new friends and to take a very personal tour through the ever-changing world of senior care. Over this very short half hour, we'll chat with a variety of people who are moving forward, finding needed assistance, and discovering a new wellness in their lives. In the end, we hope to give you a new perspective on what it means to be a senior today. We'll start with Jema and Jerry here at their garden home. A garden home living is a perfect independent living option for seniors who like the freedom to come and go as they please, but also like to take advantage of the special opportunities here. Kind of a best of both worlds. Let's go inside and meet them. Jema and Jerry, you know, my mother was in assisted living at American Senior Community some years mm -hmm. ago, and she did the same thing that you've done here. You've added personal touches to the garden home. I just wanted it to feel like my home and it does it's get it's getting closer I'm, it's a work in progress but but I'm getting there in my mother's case she took like uh, keepsakes mementos that sort of thing from each individual room and then made it this almost was like a microcosm of her home yeah and things that our, our children have given us over the years you know they're hard to part with so you can always find a spot yeah. for them yeah. what prompted you to make the decision to come here. <laughs> we sold our house mm -hmm. and it's the condo sold much quicker than we thought. And when you look at the paper or anything, all you see Rosegate all over the place. And we had been in a condo, so we had a little taste of, you know, no maintenance maintenance outside. So we came out and talked to Mark and decided we'd try it, you know. It was it wasn't that different really from the condo as far as work on in, on the house outside but it wasn't it didn't have the activities either like here it's, this is just home everybody feels that way I think here Jerry how do you feel about living here we love it here I mean it's a great place to spend your uh, senior years but we had furniture and stuff to put in storage mm -hmm. but uh, we got everything in here now that that we want so the rest of it will have to stay out in the garage for a while. <laughs> it seems like this is the best of both worlds to me. You've got the freedom and the independence that you want to have. And at the same time, you take advantage of the facilities here, the right. cafeteria, for example. It's just a fun thing to do, you know. But if you want to cook here, you have the kitchen facilities yeah. as well yes. as available. Yes, available. Yeah, we don't eat up there every day. Yeah. Uh, but this, we have eaten there. The food's good. They take us out here, the group out on their bus, and we... Just the other night, we went to Cheddar's. Ch I keep calling it Shoney. <laughs> Cheddar's. And uh, a bunch of us went and had a great time in there. And you see, a bunch of us now. You, you, so you have made some oh, friends yeah. here. You really. can't help but make friends. Yeah. You know, because there's people, you run into them all the time. And the entertainment that they have in the activities room, um, it's, it's fun. And, and a lot of people go. There's a thing in there you wouldn't believe what all. Uh, have you seen that? The calendar that no, I seen every the calendar. month a new exactly. one comes out. You don't have to work hard to make friends here. You meet a lot of people walking or dogs, and uh, so it's worked out okay for us. And the nice part is, I imagine, it's maintenance free. If you have to have something done, yes. the lawn cutter or anything like that is done for you. Snow removal. Uh, people we've met here say they do a good job of taking care of that. If you want to have privacy, if you don't feel like getting out and being amongst people, you don't feel like you're, you have to do that. Right. You, you, you have your own private setup here. Right. And we're on the end, see, and we have a dog, and it works out good to, for her. You know. One of the neatest things about living on the end here is the sunsets. The sunsets yeah. from the back window, really really something. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, you've done a great job fixing this, this place yep. up. Thank as well. you. Oh, yeah. She Thank does you. have done that. Oh, you know, say, I knew you had it. You had a couple touches in here. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do something and she has to go back behind me and change it, but that's all right. You've been married 58 years. I you understand you, you all that, yeah. <laughs> Next to making the decision to move, knowing where to start is often the hardest part. If you're thinking about making a garden home your new home, here are a few tips to keep in mind. The first is deciding what to bring. Make it a family affair and get your family involved in deciding what treasures will be coming to your new place. 
Secondly, don't worry about budgeting anymore or budgeting for those expenses such as home repair and upkeep because those are going to be a thing of the past at a garden home. And also talking about budgeting, think about all the free time you're going to have to be able to spend with your new friends and neighbors. Coming up, we'll visit with three ladies who found an amazing friendship right here at Rosegate. I'm Leslie and I'm moving forward. Thanks to Maria and the other therapists at American Senior Communities, I'm recovering from a terrible car accident. Now I'm back home in time for my daughter's wedding and resuming my duties as musical director at my parish. I admire your tenacity and we are all so very proud of you. The road to recovery begins at American Senior Communities. To learn more, visit us at ASCSeniorCare.com. Some of the residents at American Senior Communities find that assisted living apartments provide the special care they need. My mother certainly found that to be the case. Assisted living services are custom made for each individual and are designed to allow them to be as active as they want to be. As with the rest of the community, it is a great way to make new friends. We found three ladies who found each other. We were just in the dining room and all the barbers had to sit at the same table because some of them were too loud. And I was the loud one. And I'm the quiet. She's the quiet one. And I'm the polite one. She's the first one I met and we become friends. And you stayed? Yeah. <laughs> in spite of her. <laughs> Honey, I can't hear. I should have sat down there. I can't hear. Oh, you should be on this side, okay? I'm not going to say thank you. Yes, you are. You know you can't help it. Because yeah. the other Barbara's going to say everything. The other, other Barbara. The other, other Barbara. Okay. Oh, Hello, that's other that's Barbara. Okay. <laughs> I use my Tennessee lingo, and they laugh at me. That's why we're here, because we have to translate her Tennessee stuff. And so Barbara translates the good stuff, and I have to do the other stuff. Well, you know, it's a real advantage to being here because you have somebody to eat with and somebody to cook for you and clean up. And it, it wasn't an adjustment, but I like it. They have bingo every week, and then uh, it's kind of fun. I don't play either one. Well, you should. Why? Do you play it's bingo? boring. Oh, yeah, honey. Oh, yeah. Bingo is, is the top of my activity. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, yes. I used to work bingo, and I always loved bingo. A lot of people. A lot of people come to bingo. The room is always full. They don't let us sit together. When Barb on the end comes, we have to kindly tone it down. Yeah. Because she doesn't like rowdy kids. And she's rowdy. She's rowdy. Well, she started walking, and I followed her. And we take Barb <laughs> out in her <laughs> walker, or out with her walker. And we sit out there and we jaw jab. That's another Tennessee word. It means chit chat. I'm here to translate for you. They have, uh, what do they call it in the morning? Oh, chair exercise. Yeah, chair exercises. That's what old people do, chair exercises, because we don't have to get up. We can just sit there and move our legs and hands and that kind of stuff. And that suits Barbara. Hey. I've, I've, I've been on my feet an awful number of years. I was born in Tennessee, came up here to Indiana. I was married 44 years. My husband passed away. I met another very nice gentleman and we were married eight years. Uh, I lived 34 years up north, came down here because my daughter married a man from the south side. My husband's been gone 10 years and we were married almost 58. I had a child care center, Babes in the Woods. I have three children. I was at home with them, so that was a good way to do it. I have my gnomes. They're all in the corner, and I have hundreds of them. <laughs> when my kids brought my stuff over, that was the first thing they brought. <laughs> I couldn't believe that when I walked into the room that they'd brought all those over, but I was glad they did. Dad passed unexpectedly a year ago, 
August, and it was uh, the week before mom was supposed to have uh, hip replacement surgery. So the family was put into kind of uh, panic mode and, and now what do we do? So as the surgery came along, uh, we needed a rehab place because that was gonna be, dad was gonna be taking care of her and uh, we did a little research trying to find something that was, um, you had a good reputation as far as a rehab center. Rosegate was the perfect solution. When we brought mom over for a, a visit to the, uh, the rehab center, uh, the, this, the staff was wonderful. They had their conversations with her as opposed to the family, which really impressed us. The rehab w was just wonderful. They, they kept her up and they kept her active. But I think the real important part was the social activities and the interaction with the other residents over there that, that really uh, helped speed her rehab recovery. You know, she had assessments over at the, the rehab center and we came to the conclusion that there was some sort of assistance that was needed. And that's when we looked over here to uh, the Rosegate Assisted Living. Very, very relieving to us and, and it just took a lot of stress off us, uh, specifically for the, the, the medical end of it. And we, we had no, no experience or no idea what to do. We found that this, just the people here and the care that she could get just relieved us just just we, we can't even uh, we can't even say how much we were relieved because we knew that she was very well taken care of but still she had her independence to do what she wanted and to meet new people and to just continue on you know with, with her with her life we can sleep well at night knowing that uh, she's sleeping well at night with uh, the care that she has it's really a good place it's a good place. The food is good. The staff is very, very nice, very uh, accommodating. And the, the, uh, the friends here are good friends. They're, they always speak to you. And that, that means a lot to me. And they know our name. And they what? Know our name. Oh, yeah. 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 They always know our yeah. They all know our names. I don't know they how know they do that. They know everybody's name that's here. Yeah. Well, most of us are Barbaras, so that's <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. Tell her about that song you taught us. <laughs> oh, Junior Birdman. Everybody knows that. I didn't. You know that, don't you? You don't. Didn't you ever go to camp? We have gestures that we use about the Birdman. You have to get your hands somehow up like that. Come here and show them. There, she can do it. There she is. Into the air, junior, junior birdman. Bird into, into the, the air, air, upside down. down. Into the air, junior birdman. Get your feet up off the ground. I think we're the only ones that really get loud and boisterous. I don't. I don't. And this Barbara is so nice and quiet and she keeps me quiet with her. And we try to avoid this one. Do you believe her? I didn't think you did. If you or someone you know needs a little extra help these days, here are some things to consider to help make their life more comfortable and safer. Here at American Senior Communities, we take resident safety and comfort very seriously. Some of the safety features that you'll find in the bathrooms in our assisted living apartments include safety rails to prevent slipping and falling, and accessible showers so you don't have to worry about bathtubs. These are some of the things that you might look at changing in your loved one's home. If your loved one needs some assistance or if we can help in any way, visit us today at ASCSeniorCare.com. American Senior Communities is not just for seniors. Many boomers take advantage of their unique rehabilitation facilities. Up next, We'll meet some of the folks who are moving forward and finding new wellness. I'm Dale, and I'm moving forward. Thanks to Omni and the therapists at American Senior Communities, I've regained my strength following my knee replacement surgery. Now I'm back home, volunteering and flying. Also, my pastor and I went to India and Uganda for missionary work. What a difference you're making. We are so proud of you. The road to recovery begins at American Senior Communities. To learn more, visit us at ASCSeniorCare.com.
I had the pleasure of meeting Carolyn DeAngelis when we sat down for a recent Boomer TV segment, and we wanted to share her story. After an accident, Carolyn faced a long road to recovery. She chose the rehab facilities at American Senior Communities. I was walking in a dark area and fell off a retaining wall four feet into concrete pavement. After surgery, Carolyn chose inpatient rehab instead of going home to recover. My children work full time. They are ill-equipped to take care of me 24-7. And as a widow, I knew that I couldn't go home by myself. Carolyn, is there any point at which you said, wait a minute, I'm a boomer. I don't belong here with all these older people. I knew that in, in an in-house environment, I would have somebody who could daily watch after me to make sure that as I was getting in and out of a wheelchair, out of bed, getting dressed, going for meals, that someone would monitor my activity to ensure I didn't injure myself more. American Senior Communities takes a holistic approach to healing. It's more than just physical. We're going to look at you from head to toe when you come for inpatient. Not only are we looking at your medical needs, we're looking at your physical needs, your dietary needs, um, and maybe even your mental wellness needs. Because having an injury can, can kind of be depressing a little bit when you can't do what you used to be able to do. Oh, you're looking great too. Well, thank you, I feel wonderful. I'm Carolyn, and I'm moving forward. Thanks to Suzanne and the therapists in American Senior Communities, I recovered from broken bones and other complications. Thank you. Now I'm back working full time and enjoying my family and friends again. Your determination is inspiring and your attitude is infectious. The road to recovery begins at American Senior Communities. To learn more, visit us at ASCSeniorCare.com. While American Senior Communities does a great job helping you mend your body, they have a unique program to help you stay well. New Energy Wellness is designed to promote senior health by improving our fitness level. Fitness means more energy, and this program designed for adults 50 years old and older proves that an active senior lifestyle simply makes you feel better. Let's meet some of the folks who are taking advantage of it. When it's all done and you've finished and you feel better than you did when you came in, so then it's good to go home. And essentially what we try to do is customize exercise programs for them. Specifically, we have folks with an exercise science background. And they actually monitor vital signs before, during, and after. It includes blood pressure, heart rate, oxygen saturation levels, make sure that they're safe. And what we can do is customize that. We can actually challenge them as they progress through the program. And most importantly, we keep their physician updated regularly, which I think is crucial to success. I come here and I go and do my walking, 20 minutes if I'm not out of breath, bicycle. And it makes me feel good about myself. My doctor had told me that my walking has even gotten better and my blood pressure got better and my whole look out, out, out of life has gotten better. God comes first for me then the exercise comes, and it's really important, very important to me, and I think it should be important to everybody. You get more self-esteem, and you're with people your own age, and I think that is so very important. They are a fun group here, Sharon is a ball when you get her started. <laughs> um, and the rest of them are just so lovable and they make you feel at home. It's just like another world has opened for me here. This makes me feel good. Good inside, good on the outside. No matter what your age, being active is vital to maintaining your health. Sometimes you just need a little help. Three simple things that you can do at home right now, um, essentially walking, just consistent walking, 15 to 20 minutes a day. It doesn't have to be a long distance necessarily. Start off doing that daily. Um, the other thing would be there's a lot of senior yoga programs out there now. Uh, tai Chi is shown to be very beneficial research-wise. Um, even weight bearing through the joints, um, it improves bone density prevents falls, which is a big concern with this uh, senior population. So those are things you can do right now. 
I'm Jack, and I'm moving forward. Thanks to Joni and the therapists at American Senior Communities, I recovered from my stroke. Now I'm back home and enjoying the boat. I love to fish and be out on the lake again. A real expert can tackle anything. I can't wait to see your next big catch. The road to recovery begins at American Senior Communities. To learn more, visit us at ASCSeniorCare.com. American Senior Communities are experts in caring for individuals challenged with memory care issues and provide options to help them enjoy a quality of life. Jody, tell me how you discovered this place, how I decided to come here. Um, I, I did my shopping around. Mm -hmm. um, I went to, you know, several other facilities, but um, I, the thing I really loved about Rosegate was I love that the unit is secure and most of all that the staff is the same. Mm -hmm. um, very little turnover and I just felt like that was priceless in mm -hmm. building relationships for mom and dad. And, and you had a kind of a role reversal for a while. You were the kind of the caretaker for your mother. Mm -hmm. Now you're more of your mother's child. Tell us about that. Yeah, it is. You know, life kind of comes full circle. Um, those years were hard. Um, there was so much worry on, you know, whether or not she was safe, um, whether she, you know, was fixing her food appropriately, was she, you know, taking care of hygiene appropriately and all of those things. And then there's, you know, the issue of, you know, what if they, you know, went outside and got turned around. Um, so having them here means that they're safe and uh, instead of being the warrior, which I still kind of <laughs> do, um, but I am now the daughter again. So when I come and visit, we just talk and we talk about books and we sing and we play games and I show them pictures of my children. Um, and it's just, it's, it's just nice to be their girl again. There's yeah. something really freeing about that. Well, your mother sounds like a delightful person. Can we meet her? Let's go. Linda, hi. You seem to be doing very well here, getting, getting along. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Tell us about the friends that you've made here. Well, everybody's friends here. And we have good times together. I understand you're the, uh, you're the bingo hustler around here. Is that right? You're, you're the top gun when it comes to bingo. Well, I do get it every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Joni, what have you found about changes in your mother since she's been here? Well, um, I think it's just been wonderful to see her um, branch out a little bit. She's been a little bit more reserved her whole life, um, <laughs> just a little bit. And she's she's always very friendly, um, but she you know she has made some some good friends, and they they eat together you know three times a day, and and they they a lot of times after their meals they'll sit and and just kind of spend time together talking at the table and mm -hmm. they play bingo. I was here the other day and she won three times <laughs> while I was sitting with her. Um, but probably one of my favorite things that I hear about her all the time is just how nurturing she is to the other residents. And, I, and it's just one of my favorite things and it makes me so proud of her. Um, she was, you know, she was and is a great mother and, and that nurturing role has extended to her friends here. Um, and to me, that's just, that's really neat. Yeah, Linda, is that part of your nature? Do you think you're nurturing people? Do you just naturally get along well with people? Do you, do you think? think? I think I do. You do. I'm guessing one of the things you don't miss is uh, fixing meals, ironing, that sort of thing. Oh, no, I don't miss that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't miss How about that about laundry? I, I don't miss that either. <laughs> I don't have to cook. <laughs> The only thing I have to do is what? Make my bed. <laughs> and that, that, that's the extent of your duties here then. That and is. That and teaching people how to play bingo, I guess, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to teach them. I'm just going to play them. <laughs> She's adapted very well, and we, we have a very big family, and we come and, and see her and, and my dad um, as often as we can. I live just a few minutes away so you know we kind of feel like you know she's in my backyard and, and so that's really <laughs> wonderful but she you know she she always has a smile on her face um, you know there's she's had you know a few bad days here and there but we can always cheer her up um, 
So I, I feel like she's adjusted really well, and, and I'm proud of her. I think it's, it's <laughs> you know, hasn't always been easy, but I'm sure thankful that she's here. When my mother was in assisted living at American Senior Communities, I think she made as many friends among the staff members as she did among the residents. They really start feeling like family to us, which is just wonderful. Um, yeah. My parents celebrated their uh, 55th wedding anniversary in June, and the staff threw a party for them, and it was wonderful. And it just felt like an extended family celebration. And, you know, I've just never been so thankful to have those people on my team. Um, you know, the, the, the consistent staff and, you know, they will call me throughout the day to tell me funny stories or, or you know, just things that will make me smile. And they're, they're just always asking how they're doing. And um, I'm, I like them. You like them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Jody, do you, do you find it easier to just to go to bed at night knowing that your mother's being cared for? I do. I do. Um, I'm very thankful that she's safe. I, you know, I know, especially going into winter, I know, you know, she's not going to be falling on the ice or, you know, their heat isn't going to go out or, you know, something like that, that just happens, you know, to anybody. Um, you know, I, I don't have to worry. Um, there, there is a certain peace about that. When I go to sleep at night, I know that they're they're tucked in and they're safe and, and <laughs> I can run over and check on them if I want. That's a great piece of, great piece of mind. It's, it's honestly, it's priceless for me. I think you have a priceless relationship here. <laughs> <laughs> We're pretty cute. Yes. We are cute together, aren't you? <laughs> if you have a loved one who is struggling with memory loss or dementia, you may find that communication is difficult for you both. The most important rule that you can use when communication is problematic is to never scold or correct, even when your loved one isn't quite making sense or saying things that don't add up. Another good tip is to allow plenty of time for them to respond. 60 seconds is usually a good rule to allow things to process and have them respond before you move on. If communication is too much of a struggle, find a different way to connect. Things like looking at a photo album or listening to music that you both enjoy can be rewarding and not quite so much of a struggle. We have just touched on a small part of what American Senior Communities is all about. If you or someone you love needs assistance or information, contact American Senior Communities at ASCSeniorCare.com.